If you've ever smelled a ripe pineapple or sweet wine, you know the smell of ethyl acetate. Its molecular formula is C4H8O2. Butyric acid has a putrid, strong smell. It's part of the potent smell in cheese, and in its concentrated form, it smells like vomit. Its molecular formula is C4H8O2. Yep, it's the same formula as ethyl acetate. So how can they smell different? Well, they're put together differently. Here are the structural formulas of ethyl acetate and butyric acid. They have the same number of carbons, hydrogens, and oxygen atoms, but they've been assembled differently. This difference accounts for the difference in their smells. These two chemicals are isomers of C4H8O2. Isomers are two or more compounds with the same formula, but a different arrangement of atoms in the molecule and different properties. Let's look at another example. Take the molecular formula C3H8O. There are three possible isomers for this formula. The oxygen can be at the end of a carbon chain, or it can come off of the central carbon, or it can be in between the carbon chain itself. There are no other possible isomers for this formula, just these three. Now it's important to be careful that you don't make some common mistakes when drawing isomers. All four of these molecules here are exactly the same isomer. This one seems different from the other one because the hydrogen appears to be in a different position, but it represents the same spot. Hydrogen can only make one bond with oxygen. These look different because they've been drawn at different angles, but if you can rotate a drawing and it becomes the same as another drawing you have, then they're not different isomers. They're actually the same thing. Chemists sometimes choose to write every atom in a structure, but often molecules are so big and cumbersome that the structure is lost in all the letters or it just takes too long to draw. So there's a simpler way to draw large organic molecules like this. This is the same molecule. Each end and corner represents a carbon atom. There are 13 carbons in this molecule, and every carbon is represented by the ends and bends of this zigzag structure. Now it's assumed that hydrogen atoms are attached to the carbons, so hydrogen atoms are not shown in the drawing. If there are other elements or groups that are part of the molecule that aren't carbon or hydrogen, they'll be written in. On this molecule, there's a hydroxyl group made of oxygen and hydrogen, so the OH is added after the third carbon is represented. You can also draw more complicated structures with double bonds or rings using the same shorthand. This molecule drawn here is trinitrotoluene, also known as TNT. Structural shorthand can also make it a little easier to spot isomers because it isn't so crowded. These are the same isomers that were shown earlier for C3H8O, but with structural shorthand, it's very quick and easy to see that they're all arranged differently, and they truly are isomers. Thanks for watching this episode of Teacher's Pet. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Twitter at SciencePet.